Rich, it's mm. been a while since the last update. Uh, it went down quite well last time. Mm. Uh, probably time we, we did another one. Many questions have come in over the last year, as you could imagine. Um, and essentially, the, the general consensus is that they're asking, what the f*** is going on? <laughs> that is a very good question. Yes. Um, you'd think uh, we'd have been finished by now, wouldn't you? Um, and we thought we'd have been finished by now. But then Nick happened. Mm. So, uh, yes, many things have happened. The car is significantly less finished than it was last time you saw it. Um, but um, <laughs> we, we are getting there slowly. Yes, so slowly being the operative word. Operative is probably too great a word to use in these circumstances. <laughs> and obviously it's tricky. What I would like to do is address... In kind of seriously, a lot of the questions, because we see them all the time. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people don't realise that Nick works quite long hours on Binky, despite the lack of episodes. It is um, it is literally a labour of hate. Um, <laughs> I think, yeah, um, we keep odd hours um, when, we're, when we're at the shed. Uh, but yeah, Nick he, he basically hasn't stopped thinking about it and working on it since then. I know it doesn't look like it. And people are getting very frustrated about the lack of progress. And nobody's more frustrated, nobody's more cognizant of the fact that there's been no updates than we are. Indeed. Um, so, you know, the, the last thing we want is to annoy anybody. But also, the last thing we want is to to cut corners in order to finish it. We want to finish it our way. We've done it all the way through. Um, and, <laughs> and and we're just not prepared to, to keep... To no, I totally control. get that. I think one of the problems is that um, it's... I guess a sense of or a lack of communication. Obviously, my job is to is to put communication out, and we haven't because there has been much to communicate, which is the whole point of this video. Mm. So, um, Binky, where are we at with him? Right. So, um, essentially, um, we are making our own instrument cluster, um, which uh, up until that point, most of the stuff that we've done has been within our comfort zone to a certain extent, in as much as it, we, we were quite used to doing the fabrication work and all this bit, all these bits and pieces and what have you, stuff that we could do. And I think we got slightly better at most of the stuff as the, as the years went on. But when it came to the instrument cluster, there's a, um, the, the way that the Mini works is that we've sort of tried to make um, an old car into a much more modern car, but still looking like the old one. When it came to the the instruments we put them in for um we got smiths to make us a matching set of gauges we put them in for just loosely for the for the, for the western park event last year and it was apparent once we turned them on that two things happened one they didn't match and two uh, they were useless because they are old style smiths gauges that are backlit with glow worms and and they looked like you know, a 1980s set of instruments. And right. that, well, Nick didn't want that. So it came to pass that we took the decision at that point to try and improve upon them. And anybody that knows Nick knows that when he tries to improve upon them, the first thing that happens is everything gets taken apart. Yes. Um, so everything got took apart. Uh, and then that was when we realised that none of it matched. Um, the fonts didn't match, the way the backlights work didn't match, some were LED, some were glow worm, uh, some were backlit, some were uh, halo lit. It, it, just, it was an absolute mismatch of rubbish. Right. So there has been some progress. We're close to episode 38. We're closer to episode 38. Right. Um, uh, this is the thing, right? So because we were used to doing all the stuff that we are doing, when, we, when it came to electronics, you can do one of two ways. You can either just farm it out, um, or you can try and do it yourself. So, us being us, we tried to do it ourselves, which meant learning a whole new set of skills. But it also meant we had this idea that we could do our own printed circuit boards and using a using a um, uh, a technique that I don't think anybody had really tried before. So it's been take, it's taken us quite a few months to perfect that technique. But because we've perfected it, it means that we can show how to do your own using. A 3D printer. Yeah. Excellent. So that, that'll be kind of fun, but it's taken us a long time to do that. Um, so uh, for the hobbyist, with a bit of luck, that, that could be really cool. So uh, I suppose the fair question is, will Binky ever be finished? No, I don't think it will. I think, I think, it'll, uh, I think it will get to the point where... It'll, no, it'll definitely get to the point where it's, it's done, but it'll never be finished. What's next for Binky? Uh, well, once we've 
finish the instrument cluster, which is we're, we're flat out on that right now, then we've just got to put the interior back in because the rest of it is done. Um, we've got to change the fuel pump because the fuel pump um, uh, wasn't brilliant. So Fuel Labs have sent us a new one. We've changed the fuel pump, trim the rear, uh, trim the, uh, the boot area. Uh, we've got to make some C panel and B panel covers um, for the interior out of the Alcantara that was left over. Um, but basically, we've just got to put it together and then run it in. Okay. Uh, next project, it comes up quite a lot. S cargo. Well, uh, yes, the, oh, it's 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 in the shed um, and, it, and, it, and it lurks. I think it's begun to lurk. It's been that long on those. Um, we've put all our efforts into the mini, and so everything else is uh, including stuff that we need to get done. In the, we've got a heater that's in the shed that's been there for a year because we just haven't had the time to actually put the damn thing up. So it's going to freeze again this winter. Uh, the Scargo uh, is stalled somewhat while we finish this darn white thing. Um, but we've got some new stuff. We've got um, another axle to put underneath it. Uh, if two wasn't enough, um, there is a third axle going underneath it. When we get rid of one of the other ones, it's not a, a tri-axle thing. Um, but it's going to be air suspension. And it's, we've got that sorted out. Um, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be the next thing. Sounds amazing. Uh, what everyone's going to ask, having heard that, is when is Escargo going to... Well, we'll get to, well, that'll probably be early next year when we get that back on, on the road. We're, um, we're not far away from finishing the Mini to the point that we can run it in um, and get it on the dyno, uh, which will be fun. I think that'll be that'll be quite interesting. Um, so uh, I, early next year, we'll get back onto the Escargo. I know loads of people want, want to see that. We're desperate to do it. Um, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. There are other questions about the other projects. Some people are asking about Rover and other people are asking about a rally car. Mm. What of those? Well, the MG... Um, the, the MG, uh, the, the ZR, X-Power, SVR, um, we're still um, collecting bits because we basically just bought a body shell and a few bits of metal. It's really, you can't just put, you can't put it together without the, the bits and they're very specific. So finding the bits has been difficult, but literally this week um, we found a windscreen for it, um, but actually quite locally. Uh, we found the glass for it, so we found the windscreen, which is one of the one things that was going to be really difficult to get. Um, I think we're there bar one upright, one of the one of the hubs, uh, to get it as a rolling shell. Once we've got it as a rolling shell, i.e. it's got suspension on it and we can put wheels on it and what have you, then the rest is basically gravy. But that's going to be that's going to be cool. It is going to be cool. Uh, then one other question, quite unusual, that that popped up, is when is the next episode coming out? 